Hey guys, what's going on? This is my fake smile because I'm not that happy right now. Uh, I've got a little dilemma with the Corvette back here. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. It is currently jacked up. I just took this brand new Harbor Freight. Let me zoom in on it so you see the model. Three ton floor jack, rapid pump, Pittsburgh brand floor jack out of the box. Don't believe me, think I've had this for years and beaten the hell out of it, and now it's got a problem? Well, uh, here's the box right here. I literally just took it out of the box, I don't know, a few minutes ago. And anyway, you know, I've used this jack before. I've got a lot of friends that have it. This is a pretty popular item. It was only 80 bucks. Well, the problem is when I turn the handle, now pay attention to the nut here because I'm turning it. It does not want to let loose, and I'm turning it slowly here in case it does that, because that would save my day, but yeah. The first solution I tried is I put these tiles here. It's really the only thing I have left where I'm at right now in a remote spot, and I put the trolley jack on top of it, tried to get the corner of the uh, rear subframe here, and it would reach, but it was real, real iffy. And then it moved this over more. See, this isn't even center. I'm sure you guys were saying, wow, he jacked up in a really stupid spot. That's not where I started jacking it up, but that's where it is right now. And it's still holding the car manual transmission. So it's got me a little uneasy, although it hasn't moved yet. I've got a little two by four holding that one in place, but I have a uh, big wheel sitting in front of here. At this point, I can only think of one other solution. So that solution is to go to the tool store, get another jack, to raise the car even higher than it is now, and it's pretty darn high. Get the other jack out and find out why it won't retract. Again, you know, I, I, it could have been me, but we're gonna find out if I did something wrong. Look at it, it's a CLS and it says a class act, a CLS act. That is a stupid license plate, I'm sorry. If you watch this channel, I'm very happy that you're a, a viewer of the channel, but I think your license plate is stupid. Is this really how slow a bottle jack goes? Oh my gosh. Is this for real? Oh my god, what did I do? So I bought one piece of junk to try and fix another. I was cheap, of course, you know, I shop at Harbor Freight Tools and I, I didn't go to Harbor Freight, I went to Northern Tool. So instead of buying like another like legit jack, I bought a bottle jack. Um, and I didn't realize that this is, whoops, I'm not even using the right thing here. I didn't realize this is how slow a bottle jack goes up. I mean, it's just really like little, whoa. Get this underneath here and let's get this jack out from under the car. We'll get the car off the jack. Is this fucking for real? Is this for real? Look, what the hell am I doing? Is it going up? All right, well, we've got it up against the control arm here, which is not ideal, but it's basically one of the only places I can get it. And this, I did not realize a bottle jack literally goes up in like fractions of a millimeter. I mean, this is taking absolutely forever, but this might get us out of our issue here. Is it still going up? I mean, it feels nice and solid, which is nice. Okay, I think I see it is going up and it's still going up, which is good. We're, okay, our first jack is off, but, oh, what did I say just now? I'm really trying to refrain from jack jokes. I've been making them off camera. This jack is off the car. This jack is on the car. The issue I see is that whenever I get this jack out, which, is it gonna come now? Oh, baby. All right, so we got problem number one solved. The next issue, now wait, this, is not solidly in here. Could that be our problem? It could be. But still, hold on. Well, look, here's it turning left. It's stuck. Here's it turning right. I can go right all day. I can go left all day. It's not seated, obviously. Is there something in here stopping it from... There's a bunch of grease. Hold on. Look at this is our issue, guys. Oh my God, how stupid is this? This bolt needs to come out. Put this in. That's it. Oh my God. How stupid could I be? I'm sorry, although 
Uh, in my quick skim of the manual just now, I didn't see anywhere where it tells you to make sure that screw is out and set in right, but it's pretty freaking obvious. So I'm the idiot here and uh, I'm gonna take that L. And now my next L is the fact that I got a bottle jack stuck underneath there that actually it goes higher than the heavy duty Pittsburgh jack. So let's figure out a way out of our predicament and then I'll end this really torturous video for you guys. All right, so, and again, to, to maybe uh, my credit, okay, again, I don't see anything about that screw, but it's pretty obvious for a guy that is working on a car. Number five in the rules is to prevent accidents, turn off the tool and disconnect its power supply after use. Clean, then store the tool indoors out of children's reach. When you use this jack, it works like a charm for only $80. Let me tell you what, before I was going to tell you how... I went to Northern Tool because I went to Harbor Freight and those were junk tools, but the honest truth is I, I really like this jack now that I've got it set up correctly. As you can see by the Corvette flipped around and on the ground, the jack here in my hand, we resolved our issue and it was completely user error. Turns out I absolutely love the Pittsburgh heavy duty three ton floor jack, rapid pump, from Harbor Freight, pretty much like every other Harbor Freight tool that I purchased. This nut right here, loosen it all the way when you get it. It's in there uh, pretty snug. Then when you take the pull and push it in, go ahead and snug it back up. Now this shouldn't move out of place. If it does, you don't have the jack assembled, right? So I was about to curse this thing, and for only $80, I think it's probably the best value jack they sell at Harbor Freight. Guys, feel free to light me up in the comment section below. I did take my life in my hands for this video, so be sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions for me, just make sure they're not about floor jacks. You can reach me using my email in the description box below. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you very soon.